All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, I accidentally had to restore my client, so we don't get the little intro thingy. But uh, there's a new Hearthstone set that came out two days ago. Uh, I've been on a little bit of a... Uh, uh, the, the ill zone for the last three days, so I've not been able to stream. But I am uh, at a point where it's good enough. So we're going to jump on in and do some arena, show off the Witchwood. I'm going to hit this button. I don't know what the button's gonna do. Tell me, what is what is the button? Okay, the button is the Hearthstone crack. Oh no, it's not. Yeah, bird time. Welcome to bird time. It is the year of the raven. Rotation has happened. Uh, all of my decks are wrong. Uh, standard is now on Goro. Forward? Yeah, whispers, one night, mean streets. That means that it's on Goro. We got a bunch of things that happened. These have been moved to wild. Uh, Molten Giant got fixed back to 20, which is cool. Uh, ice Block's gone, rip in peace Ice Block. Cold Blight Oracle's gone, rip in peace Cold Blight Oracle. And I get a bunch of dust because I own those cards. Which is neat. Oh, neat. I'm in. Uh, nah, I don't need a standard deck. Uh, I also got, when I logged in, I got a bunch of packs, which we aren't going to open quite yet because we're going to do an arena first. And I also got uh, a legend. But yeah, you can see the standard is now Witchwood, Cobalt's, Frozen Throne, Ungaro. Yeah, uh, my one card I own from this set is uh, dumb. And I look forward to, to playing a bunch of standard with this dumb card. Uh... Effectively, what if you can? What if you could control Yog Saron? Uh, is the question, and the answer is, uh, oh. So, anywho, that's uh, that all the out of the way. So then, now that we've talked about uh, rotation and uh, new set, I'm not even gonna look at new cards and stuff. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the arena let's do it let's learn about new cards you know the intended way play against them play with them all right Embrace the shadow okay Earth and fire. Heed my call. oh god shaman minus jade is gonna be sad And then Mage. Mage still has Meteor. Let's see, what did Warlock lose, gain? Oh, Blast Crystal, right. I think I want to go Shaman. I feel like the legend I got was telling me I should try Shaman. You know? I picked up Shutterwalk, and let's go ahead and see how Shaman plays. Nightmare Amalgam. This is an elemental mech, demon, murloc, dragon, beast, pirate, and totem. Three mana, three, four, all creature types. That, look at that art. It's it's a little too small, but like you can see that it is made up. There's a totem arm, there's a murloc head. Uh, that's pretty great. Um, the downside of this is that some of those creature types are very, very downside in the arena. Uh, dragon and Pirate are the, the ones that immediately come to mind as downsides in the arena. Um, mech is a neutral. Elemental's a big plus. Totem's a plus. Murloc is a plus. Um, Beast is generally a plus. 
But yeah. And then we have Primal Fin and Lightning Storm. I think Lightning Storm is the pick here because it's, you know. However, I wonder. Hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking here. And I'm thinking that uh, I might just want to go in on, like, let's just play with the new cards and see how they work. You know, when you get a synergy pick, this is a neat one. Hey, Dactylon. I am feeling... I'd put myself at 80 to 85% right now. Yeah, Shredwolf, I think you've got it. I'm going to go with just pick all new cards. We're going to see how that plays out. It's going to be really bad, but it should let us uh, do some interesting stuff. Maybe we can find some stuff for the Nightmare Amalgam. Oh, thank you for the auto host, uh, everybody. I see you. That both Smite and Kaz. Uh, title Surge as a... Uh, title Surge as removal. Surge of Kalamos actually would give us direction. We could go elemental because we did just pick up Nightmare Amalgam. You know, which is an elemental. It's also everything else, but it is an elemental. So, that's pretty fun. I think it's between Title Surge and Servant of Calamos here. Uh, again, I feel like the Title Surge is more of the the, the interesting or the, the the powerful card, but I like the idea of jumping on this ship and seeing where it goes. These are some strong ass cards. I've passed up in uh, I've passed up multiple times on the powerful removal. I should probably take it. What do we got here? Bog Shaper. Whenever you cast a spell, draw a minion from your deck. Elemental. 4-8. Alright, that's a new card. We gotta shape the bog. Hell yeah. Bog shaping. Ooh, Glacial Shard. Alright, Elemental Tribal it is, everybody. Saddle in, folks. So the bog shaper. Would the Dragon Slayer have to hit your Amalgam? Yes, because it is a dragon. Earth Shock, Bone Drake, Doom Hammer. Ooh. Love me some Doom Hammer. Hmm. I mean, if we're letting the elephants guide us, I should probably go with the Doom Hammer, right? That is the power of the elements. Yeah. Uh, nothing new here. I think I'm going to take the earlier drop. Stegadon fills out the curve a little better. Tidal Surge is something I mentioned wanting. Let's go ahead and pick that up now. Nothing new here. Nothing strong here either. I'll pick up this as a possible way to deal 8 damage to my opponent. Skelomancer is fine too if you have a way to give it Taunt or something like that. This card is not good. Um, there is a 2-1 version of it as a beast in this set. Volcano! Blow out! Oh no! Volcano Blowout. Oh no. My rule. Well. If this is the only minion in the battlefield. Wait, so like both sides? Like this needs to be full empty board? Not just yours? Ooh, that's tough. That's real tough. Hmm. Sorry about your my rule. Ooh, discover a battle cry minion. Okay. I will even though it's unstable evolution, I will pick this over it. Add a random two-cost minion to each player's hand. Sure. Goodbye, Hex. Voodoo Doll. Battlecry, choose a minion. Death Rattle, destroy the chosen minion. Okay. Elementals. Hey, Bone Man. Oh, my God. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Bone Man. Ah, uh, I need twos. Ah, uh, hell, these are really good cards. Help. Okay. <sighs> I'm 
I'm sitting here thinking deeply about these cards. It probably should just be Bone Mare. But the elemental plan is like kind of what our deck is doing. Right? Yeah, Arena's finally tricky. It's true. You have actual choices. Discover a battle cry minion. That's gonna be real good. What's Bone Mare? Refresh your hero power. Okay. I'm sorry, that's on a Wow! That's a spider tank! Dang, give me stone for stacks. Oh my god! Hey chill, Wind Yeti. Uh, we've already picked one of these, so I'm gonna pick up Blood Sail Raider. We need some twos. Let's keep getting the bolts going. I'm sorry, what do you do? Divine Shield Rush. Each turn this is in your hand. Swap its attack and health. Uh, so the way this card works is that Rush is charged but can't attack face. Um. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know if I want more eights. So this is like the world's most annoying, like, Sometimes. And then we have Unstable Evolution, which is, you know, a very known thing. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I want to... I just want to discover more Battle Cries, I think is what I want. I just want to discover more battle cries, I think is what I want. Hold on. What do you do? Battle cry. Add two random one cost minions to your hand. Battle cry. Destroy your totems. Plus two, plus two for each totem. Destroy. Holy shit. What? <laughs> Hold on. I want a totem crunch. Ooh. Ooh, that's juicy. Marsh Drake. Summon a 2 1 poisonous Drake Slayer for your opponent. Uh, oh, that's bad. Oh, dear. Let's pick it. Uh, add a random two-cost minion in each wife's hand. Let's pick up the lightning storm here. Oh, goodbye, Phantom Militia. Uh, none of you are great, so we're gonna pick the Ironforge Rifleman. Bone Drake. Frozen a Crusher is an elemental. Ooh, hey. Primal Fin Totem versus Crushing. Crush. Uh, yeah, Wax versus the Cleanup Crew. Earthen Might. Give a minion plus two, plus two. If it's an elemental, add a random elemental to your hand. Oh, yes. This is some payoff for our elemental stuff. Nice. Our curve sucks. Our curve sucks on ice. Let's fix it. Our curve sucks on ice. Hell yes. Alright, let me go ahead and get you some deck lists ready. But yeah, exciting. Uh, we have some Discover in this deck. That's always a good place to be. Discover in every world is going to be very strong. We have some new interactions. We're going to get this play out. Ooh, it's going to be really exciting. I look forward to this. Alright. So what, the, what my plans for today... Uh, while I'm making the deck list, and you all place your bets, um, I'll talk about my plans. I plan on doing an arena. I plan on spending about 1,500 gold on some packs. And then we're going to open a bunch of packs. And then maybe talk a little bit about cards in the set that I'm interested in or have opinions about or, you know, the like. Uh, well, that'll be quick. Sadly, I'm not doing a full... Uh, uh, Sadly, it, it seems that uh, the the normal full set review that Abyss and I do uh, does not have the time. Uh, is that? No, that's not right. That's right. So I'll try to do a quick version of it. A, a quick run through of things I'm interested in at the end of this. So, anywho. Uh, looks like I've got the deck list built. Let's go ahead and put that up. You alright, Slow? Your voice sounds a bit rough. I have had a very poor three days. Let me tell you. This is, uh... 
better than my voice sounded. Uh, I did not have a voice on Wednesday. Uh, I did not have a voice on Thursday. I sounded like a robot on Friday. Uh, and now it is today. So I want you to imagine this, but worse by like five degrees. It was pretty interesting. Made for a fun week. But yeah, place your bets. We'll see how things roll. I'm excited. <clears throat> oh, this is going to be fun. But yeah, one of the biggest parts about the arena is that the rotation actually knocked a bunch of sets out of the arena. Uh, it knocked... Uh, Oof. Every set that rotated out of standard also disappeared from the arena. So the arena is a much smaller world now. Somehow a draw happens. We'll see if that can occur. Jaina! You asked for it. For Doomhammer. Ah, the voodoo doll. I'm gonna keep the voodoo doll. <laughs> this seems fun. Ooh, this looks like a good opener. I like this. I think this card's very strong. Blazing Invocation. Ooh, is this a new board? <gasps> I mean... Should I pick it up? I should probably pick it up. Alright, so we have to keep an eye on what battle cries will do this game. Alright, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna bolt. Okay. That's good. Okay, so we're going to play Blackwalled Pixie on three here. I'm going to coin into it. Because I want forward progress against this opponent. Yeah, repeated battle cry of choose a minion. Yeah. Okay. So that's an explosive runes, because it's always an explosive runes. Okay. This seems like a good stone forged stone... A good turn for Axe. Mostly because I don't want them to be able to trade on this. Oh, they did play the Glacial Shard there. Okay. How do we want to deal? How about... Like, Bolt Axe. Maybe Bolt with the Hero Power? Heha! <laughs> Square Attend Me makes for a good play next turn, so I'm gonna pick that. That's my thought process here, is the power of Squire attend me should be nice. Okay, there's that flame geyser they created. And they have their own four. Kieran Tor, which will let them play their uh, secret for free. Probably explosive runes. If it is, does that mean I want to change up the plan? Well, if it's Potion of Polymorph. Let's do this. Ready, sir. I don't... Also, by the way, uh, that seems like a strong battle cry to copy. Just gonna put that out there. Oh, dear. 
Alright, looks like I have my voodoo doll target. That's fine. To battle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you insist. Well played. And then I'm playing this to gain myself eight life. Bone Mare says friendly minion, so it is immune to getting owned by Shutterlock. Ooh, nice play! Smart choice. Okay, that's frozen. That is the best cleanup crew I've ever seen. Damn. I'm going this route specifically to force them to kill this if they want to get through. Oh, crap. No, not Glyph. Right, that card's still around. Uh-oh. So we got Storm. Yeah, Glyph is a powerful tool. Okay, and Blizzard. I probably just want to play out my Frozen Crusher. Wait! Wait! Follow me! Wait! Follow me! Wait! that meteor as much as I could. Uh, will that not die? That's bad. Huh, I don't like this position. I don't like this position at all. My jaws that bite, my claws that catch. Ready, sir. Wait, did the bone mare fizzle? God, it's because there was... Okay. Yeah. The, the order's random as well. Well, we are learning. Oh, shit! Hello! Uh, goodbye! All right, well, we are learning. That's good to know. Yeah, that's a... I expected a fireball in the pocket, not a pyroblast in the pocket. Interesting. Brawl versus Mel 
Malfurion. I must protect the wild. Ooh, this hand is a little too big. Okay, that Stoneforge Axe really changes things. Officer Z! Oh no. The cops. Alright. Ooh! Uh, yeah. I'm always a fan of that combo. A totem crunch. If my opponent hero powers here, totem cruncher will actually look quite good. Okay, that's actually the worst it could have gone. I wanted an O2 to not die to that, but, you know... Look, things are complicated. Play a three drop. Destroy your totems. Sure. Uh, I think that means I'm just gonna... Eat it, eat it, eat it! Yeah, eat it. Eat it. Buddy, I'm very sorry, but get out. <laughs> get out. Attacked with the weapon because it means if they play only one minion, I get to use my weapon to, to kill. Damn! Okay, now they're gonna make me look like a fool for all this. Four two rush or ha ha, you jerk! That's even an elemental. Get in. Oh no! Swamp Dragon Egg! Uh-oh! It's a Swamp Dragon Egg! Alright. Kinda wanna play my dragon. Better board presence. I realize it's passing on Servant, but I'll be able to Servant easier later. Swamp Dragon Egg. It's got the same battle cry as my Bone Drake. They're, are they friends? Is my Bone Drake a Swamp Dragon? <laughs> I love this guy. Oh, damn. Uh, nice play? Yeah, nice play. Oh. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Ahem. <clears throat> Yeah, I guess of random dragons, uh, that's a pretty good one. Alright, let's get the bog out here. Bog detected. Bog detected. Sure. That's not really that bad. Alright, let's discover our elemental. Uh, yep. That's an elemental. What? 
so I'm really liking our top end that we've discovered. Our deck is pretty good at having legendary minions. Oh my god. Oh my god, stop it. How long can this go on? How long can this go on? How long can this go on? Perfect. That's the exact totem I wanted. Because it lets me do this. Come on. Play your 1-5s. Do it. Oh shit, no. Oh. Okay, you've got infinite taunt. I've got infinite taunt. That's fine. I'm sorry, your hand is what? Oh. Okay, your hand's just a bunch of cantrips. Sure. How long can this go on? Alright, well, let's go ahead and... Sarah awakens. Our opponent cannot be a time traveler as they have the swamp dragon egg. All right. Elements guide me. And a drink. Perfect. Oh, you can't time travel. Oh, no. Tragic. Are you ready? We're gonna eat them. What? Okay. I have to give a lot of respect to whoever on the design team or, like, creative team keeps making these Wisp pun cards. This is, like, the 20th time it's happened, and it's really good. Y'all should know that. I'm going to eat a bunch of totems now. I don't care that it's the same pun. That's the point. You have a drink. Oh. Well, hell. How do I get you out of the way? That's big. It big. Uh... Six, seven bolt, six, eight bolt. Close to lethal. Close to lethal. Close to lethal. 
close to lethal. Hmm. Perhaps my opponent has Deathwing. Okay. Close to lethal. I shall bring you rest. I'm gonna blast you. Well, thanks, Yasera. Did you know card generation's still very strong in the arena? Cabal Courier might be gone, but the spirit of Cabal Courier still lives on. And really, it's the spirit of Jeweled Scarab. Oh, man. Jeweled Scarab, do you... Oh. The Ninja Skunk. Alright. Hey, Primal Fin Totem rules. That's really good, too. If they don't have their own, which, if they do, if they coin two, I just bolt it. So, things don't look too bad. And if they coin hero power, then, like, Primal Fin Totem looks really... Yeah, here we go! It's the power of the Primal Fin Totem. Here come the Murlocs. Here come the Murlocs. Here come the Murlocs. That's goodbye. I'm revoking those privileges right now. Here come the Murlocs. Here come the Murlocs! Oh my god. This is getting dumb. Help my board. Help my board. Help. 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 Totems, help. Sure. I think that's what this is for. Okay, the reason I did the run in there was specifically to make sure that my, uh, oh, in case, okay, was specifically to make sure that the, the Doom Hammer could take it out. I also had the option of Tidal Surge on it. Hmm, what do we want to do? Do I want to Doom Hammer that? I don't know. Hey, everybody. I'm here for crushing. We'll be healing up that health, so no big. Steed? I think my Primal Fin Totem's finally dying. I wonder... Yeah, 
Yep. So, I feel like that attack is pretty obvious. He should be taking out my, uh... Like, the, the ninja skunk should be taking out my, um... Ooh, volatile elemental. Yeah, my totem only made five one ones. Tragic. It's really a tragedy in three parts. Uh, I'm wrathing your board. So let's heal up. And we need to make a cool play. What if your vine cleaver sucks? What are you hiding? Oh no! Secrets. Yeah, but like, what if I played Bone Bear? And then we can... we can Bogmite. The Bogmite seems really strong. Hey, it's that steed! Sure. Alright, um... I don't want to go about this. Okay. Oh. All right. Chill out. That's nice. I'm game. Okay. Half your turn. This looks like a good lightning storm to me. Let's draw a card first. I'm sorry, what? So we'll draw a card off our lightning storm. And we have a lot of lethal up our sleeve. Sure. That's gotta be one hell of a taunter to not die. That does not have taunt. Goodbye. I do not believe our opponent had either equality or consecrate. There there was a nine-turn period where Consecrate would have been an auto-slam, and most of that period also Equality would have been an auto-slam. You can top-deck one of those cards, but you can't top-deck both. You wouldn't hammer a Wrath on 8-1 if you had Consecrate in your hand. Hickory shoes. Alright, let's see how Tangle Fur Mystic plays out. Add a random two drop to each player's hand. That's neat. There are so many spider tanks in this set. What the heck? Is it the year of the spider tank? 
Is a raven actually a spider tank? Okay, that's pretty good. I feel fine on this play because I have Bolt plus a 2 drop next turn. Clearly I have a better 2 drop than this, but you know. What now? Our deck does have beasts! It has the all thing. Okay, throw away your team. 2 for 1, 2 for 2. Okay. And then that's a good Bolt target. We're gonna be real here. Play our 2-3 instead of our 2-2. Two, two. Unknowns out a warrior. I wonder what they got. Oh dear. Yep, that's a card, alright. Okay, I kinda need my opponent to like give me more of a board presence. Right, that card is from uh Yeah, okay. Shit. Cobalt Scalebane is still incredibly strong. Okay. Alright, looks like I found my Volcano turn. It's gotta be now. After I draw my one drop. Perfect. Volcano! Blow out! Thanks, Volcano. Ooh, upgrade just to break Divine Shield. Damn. Okay, that actually works well with a Blood Sail Raider. If that's your follow-up, I don't feel too bad. Okay, I need to get a board presence is the problem here. Okay. And we're gonna totem me. Oh God! <coughs> Ahem. Yep. Uh huh. That's a card, all right. I need to hope that this can kill the Lich King. That's my only, like, immediate out. Behold the might of Stormwind. Everything's still fine, I say. Everything's still fine, I say. All right.
I believe I'm dead here, but the lightning storm doesn't actually do anything there, so I'm holding off on it. I believe I'm dead, though. Two Lich King cards tells me that they likely have a way around this taunt, and they have 12 hour on board. Oof. Yeah, I think out of Lich King cards, there's the weapon, there's the five damage one, there's Obliterate, and uh, I think there's one more that could have gotten around that. Okay, yikes. The turn that mattered there was actually the turn after the Volcano. The fact that my follow-up was so weak was actually the, the biggest killer. Uh, my opponent didn't have much of a follow-up into the Volcano afterwards, but I had nothing to follow up and into it. So... Let us continue our dive into the arena. Mudrico. You asked for it. For Doomhammer. Okay. It's the Voodoo Doll. I like the Voodoo Doll. It's a cool card. Also, this combo's uh strong. Hey Bone Mare, how you doing? Alright, play a Bloodfin Raptor, please. Like Coin Apprentice. Coin Acidic Swamp Ooze. I'll accept that. Ooh, nice combo, actually. Like, this, uh, with the, the a weapon out is really good. I'll be able to play this and then, uh, kill the poison. Okay. Ooh, that's nice. That's really nice. I will be your doom. Ready? Fire! That's nice. So I'm kind of hoping for a ping here. Oh, random spell and a random spell, huh? Alright. I did not play an elemental last turn. Oh, no! Here, turn off. Anyway. Random spell into random spell into random spell, huh? Oh, on the right side. I'd, uh, I just make that uh, after I go into the arena. It's a little thing I turn on and off. It's useful. Uh, I guess I'm just hero powering here. It's on my opponent to do something to stop me. So... Yeah, I just screenshot my deck uh, after I uh, pick all the cards, and then it takes, like, 20 seconds. Yep. 
Yep. You sure do have one long vigil. Uh... I really don't want to play the... I'm gonna have to. I really don't want to have to Lightning Bolt this turn, but I'm gonna have to. Because I wanted a Bone Mare next turn. Anyway, here's a board or something. This is, yeah, you can flame strike this board. It's two cards. My problem is I have nothing else to put out there. Like, I have no threats. I have no threats. I need to play that. Like, my hand is all reactive elements. I, I need to be uh, proactive here, and I can't, like, sit on this for too long. Not against a mage on eight cards. Like, I'm not going to win a card advantage game here. You brought me back. Sure. thought about playing the God Hand instead, but I want to be able to Bone Mare on the following turn. Oh, what? Oh, get out of the jungle. Oh. That's tragic. Right now, the last thing I need is my opponent playing more Taunt. How big? Okay. I'm just gonna... And you can get over here. So I have lethal. Well, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm overloaded too much for lethal. Yikes! Is that what this game is? Yosh. My opponent very clearly has nothing. Yosh! Pyroblast my minion. Oh, what did your top ropes show ya? Okay. And? Breath? For the crusade. That's not enough. Alright. Let's get in. See, my opponent was very threat light, which is why I wanted to go forward. Uh, I think playing the servant on that turn was a very key turn. Uh, it's a, it's identifying when to be proactive and you know, like ah, I could wait for all the value on this, but you can't always wait. Didn't they cut the odds of Flame Strike a bunch? I mean, they just removed uh, 
400 cards from the arena, so the odds of flame strike go up higher because it's it's more likely to be seen. Um, I don't know how that changes with uh, like the new arena though. I have no idea how those like odd those like those odds uh, change with like the the, the changed arena. Oh, this is. Oh my god. I'm I'm 100% protected. Get out. Coin into cruel taskmaster. Okay. Fine. My totem is fully protected. It's actually a really interesting uh, note in, in like how uh, probabilities function. In that, uh, when they did change, when they said that they changed uh, Flame Strike to show up 50% less, uh, doing the full math on all the other changes they made at the same time made it so Flame Strike was actually about, I think, 20% more likely, maybe a little higher, because of all the other changes that did happen. By the way. Uh, they considered coining to kill this and didn't. I'm a little sad. Because they cut, uh, Flame Strike by 50%, but then they upped spells a bunch, and upped class cards a bunch, and lowered neutrals a bunch, and removed a bunch of cards. And so, when you look at the card pool as a whole, Flame Strike's still more likely than it was, uh, previously. It's interesting like that. I find it interesting, at least. Oh my goodness. I can feel my voice falling away. Goodbye forever. Alright, coin four. Sure. I think next turn I'm going to, like, fish these for the battle cry, destroy a dragon. I realize it's six damage, but that's destroy here. Ooh, do you have a whirlwind? Oh, whirlwind would be kind of good here. Nice play. Nice. Um... But for real. Uh, I guess I have a Lorewalker Cho. Huh. That seems bad. Okay. That seems good. Defend the gates. That seems bad. Damn, that card is dangerous. Well. Okay. And then... Lose one health for each card in your opponent's hand. That's on this card, by the way, not like you lose health. Um, be shit. Uh, that's bad. Play a weapon, too. Just. Okay. Alright. So yeah, 5 mana 3-8. This card's strong as hell. One of the best top decks you could have in the world. Uh, and then, like, is acceptable on 6 cards because it's Fen Creeper. If you can sidestep the Battle Cry, it's really good. Like, there's a lot to recommend about this specific card. 
Get out of here. No. Stop that. Okay, I want to draw a title surge. Is Bone Mare real? Eight power. Break this. This scares the hell out of me because I can't get to it. Way too well defended right now. Like, I need to draw my title surge or, like, a taunt, you know, a spell damaged bolt, something like that. Oh! Okay. There's an Arcanine Reaper. That's fine. I'm gonna take a lot of damage this turn, aren't I? Okay. Not the outcome I expected, but the outcome I'll accept. They have another weapon in hand, four unknowns. <clears throat> we need to draw something that gets us big board presence. Bone Drake? I think Bone Drake is what I'm looking for. God, if they hero power pass, I will be all up in this. A nine? There's no way. They're thinking of overriding that weapon. Why? We have like a Gorho? What is up your sleeve? Oh, hey, it's my friend, my buddy, the most annoying man in the world. All right. <laughs> That's fine. I want to draw Bone Drake right now. That's not what I want to draw, basically, at all. Bog. Uh, the Bog Elemental is now on my list. Hmm. Okay, we can knock that out. What's your weapon? That's that's I wanna know that. Oh, it's just a fiery war axe, okay. Okay, I want this to get handed over to the Twilight Drake. Thank you. Think I need Haunt. Hmm. It does indeed appear I am dead on board. Maybe our opponent does not notice this fact. I believe they have noticed this fact. 
Indeed. They have noticed this fact. Alright. A remarkably average arena for an arena where we, we, we chose the interesting cards over the good ones. Uh, okay. Taking a look at this, I was very impressed by Blazing Invocation. Um, Earth and Might was quite good. Uh, this is a, you know, this is a, a spider tank, always nice. I don't know how much I liked Mar Marsh Drake. It worked well. I think this is class dependent. Best in Rogue. This is nice. I think this thing is like a spell slinger. It's okay, though. Uh, Voodoo Doll in this class was not good. Voodoo Doll in a lot of other classes is nice, but in this class it's like a corruption that costs three mana. I'm not very impressed by Totem Cruncher. I had a pretty good run. And then... Very much liked Bog Shaper. This card was great. A little bit expensive, but quite fun. Alright. Let us go ahead and open a number of packs of the new set to finish things out. Uh, we'll up that number to 20, which would... I think it's like somewhere on the screen I can click. Nope. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and open some packs, we'll go through some cards, talk about them as we see them. So we've got the Witching Hour, summon a random friendly beast that died this game, and Druid. Okay. I'd have to see what beast survived rotation, because a lot of the beast stuff in Druid I don't think did. Summon Gorost, oh hey, a wall... A walnut? It's a walnut. Echo is a neat mechanic. So Echo is like unstable evolution. Uh, you can play it as many times as you want in a turn, and then it's gone. So this is a 3-mana three 3-3. Three, three. That's also a 6-mana, you know, 6-6, six, six, effectively, two 3-3s. Three, or 9-mana for three 3-3s. Three, three, Meaning that it's good early. Like, it's, I mean, reasonable early. And, like, quite a beating late. Dire Frenzy. This card's cool. Uh, it's kind of like a Blessing of Kings, except for it shuffles a bunch of copies of it into your deck. The cost is unaffected, so you go like, I play a Stone Dust Boar, I plus three plus three my Stone Dust Boar, I shuffle four, f you know, you know, four fours for one into my deck. It's cool. I want to pump a Huffer with this. Combo, give your weapon plus one attack. It's a pirate. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. And Dire Frenzy again. Cool. <clears throat> Alright. Swift Messenger we saw. This is one of the best cleanup crew uh, cards I've seen in a long time. Oh god, Clockwork Automaton. Double the damage and healing of your hero power. I've, already, I've seen some silly combos with this. Uh, that involve cubes. Thank you for the sub, President Ark. I appreciate it a lot. After your hero attacks, give this minion... Holy crap. I know I bolted this thing in, like, one of our matches, but... Good lord. Like, hero power on two is rogue. Play this on three, attack. It's a 4-4. Four, four. Attack, it's a 5-5. Five, five. Goodness. And then Gilnean Royal Guard. The, uh... Like, they are some annoying. They're either an incredibly powerful cleanup crew, or, like, attacking up into, like, the Lich King and living. And that's cool. Yep. Clockwork Automaton. 
Raven Caller. Battle Cry add two random one drops to your hand. Uh, this is actually a pretty neat card. It's like card generation is pretty good. I don't know if it's gonna be like the greatest because like you know you're you're getting a two one and then some one drops, so it's kind of mediocre board presence. An echo card might work better late game for keeping you going, but it's neat. Man. After your hero attacks, give your minions full some plus one. Yeah, okay. Nice sword. Damn. All right. That's real expensive. Hey, it's our old buddy. Drain life for three. So yeah, life drinker here uh, has gained a bit of uh, notoriety already as a win condition in a dumb deck. Uh, but it casts lightning helix on your opponent. That's pretty neat. I'll talk about that deck after we're done with this. I'm not gonna unless like I open another card for it. I'm not gonna talk about it until we get there. Damn. Okay, that's nice. That's real nice. Like so, this is like uh, obviously it's weaker than old fiery war axe, um, but. Plus two, plus one to a random friendly rush minion. Like, you play this on two, and then if you have, like, a... You, we saw that 5-5, five five, or the 2-5, the uh, that became a 5-5 five five on the turn it comes into play. That's nice. Add three, two, two treants to your hand, which would apple. All right. So, like, it seems like Druid in this set, they wanted to pull back on. So they have this focus on, like, cards in hand. Like, the Wisps. It's kind of strange. Ooh! Check it out, it's shatter but fixed. This is uh this is literally shatter but what it should have been. That's it. Yeah, we played with Earth and Might. Cool card. And kill spell. Kill spell that actually has some implications for like Rexar and resurrection of beasts and things. Which is nice. Again, rushes you can attack minions. But not uh, the player. Um, it's, it's charged, but like fixed. Ooh. Okay, that's neat. Again, this is like a Rexar thing in my mind. Look how happy this like dog is. This is definitely a dog. You can't give and here we have one of the other gimmicks of the set. If your deck contains only odd cost cards, draw a card. It's kind of a small gimmick. It's only on like a couple of legends and a couple of commons and rares. But yeah. Uh, this is a th this used to be at rare when it was a mech. This was at rare, but now it's at common with additional text. The Disney animal dog. That's definitely a dog. Ooh, damn. That's a good rush card. Again, very strong uh, cleanup crew, and I like the cleanup crew. Cleanup crew that leaves a 3-4 down is nice. Okay, this card shows off the one of the weirdest changes with this set. Um, and that is Red Man Wasp's text is, Rush has plus three attack while damaged. Now, those of you who remember the card Amani Berserker, or I don't know, you know, you, you know, Gromash, might recall a keyword uh, called Enrage that is while this minion's damaged, it has text. Um. They removed Enrage because they didn't like designing for it, and then introduced another Enrage card. Which has me just, I don't know, I'm, I don't get it. That change makes no sense to me. Hey dog. Ooh, this is like some of the dogs. How you doing? Echo dog. I like this dog. Hey, we saw this in our picks. 
Death Rattle, give your minions plus one attack. I'm not really impressed by this thing. It's like, uh... We saw this in Whispers, and it wasn't really great. Ooh, Night Prowler. Okay, this is going to be really class-dependent. Like, the fact that it's fully empty board is, is harsh, but, like, that's a 6-6 six, six for 4. Which, I guess that's not a 4-mana 7-7s seven, seven, so to throw it in the garbage, you know. But, 6 health of all friendly characters, okay. Hey, it's Blink Fox! So, Blink Fox is the new Swash Burglar. It's a 3-mana three 3-3 three, three that draws a card as well. It's like the Elemental Hearthstone card. I know it's a beast. But it's also a, a, a fox. This goes into my burgle. And freeze. Deep freeze. Deep freeze. Deep freeze. Hey, how you doing? I mean, I guess, um... Beardo's around. Yep, and then might. Ooh, okay, I love this frog. I love this frog. Taunt at a random sp shaman spell to your hand. I don't know why this is like... There's no such thing as a uh, color identity in Hearthstone. I, just, just remove that from your mind. That doesn't exist. Um... So we we have a we have this 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 frog, and it gives you shaman spells, and it's a taunter. I like this frog a lot. It's a good card. Yeah, okay. This is dangerous. Never suffer a paladin minion to live. You know that. Just continue that. Deep freeze. Oh, hey, two tumor lock. Again, I talked about how these the echo cards are like, they tend to be like sort of generic on the early curve, but make for this really powerful top deck where you play, uh, you know, on turn 10, it's like, here's five two twos, go. And it's like, excuse me? I am, I like the Grizzly. I think this is a good card. Uh, Especially from, you know, playing in the arena. If you can end up playing this and it's at, like, 3-7 or 3... You know, if it's at 3-6, that's Fen Creeper. Any bigger than that, it's huge. And if you can sidestep the battle cry in any way, uh, you have a 3-12. So... Swamp Dragon Egg. Here's the egg of the Swamp Dragon. It is the, the Bone Drake. And a Woodcutter Axe again. This is our first epic. Battle Cry, draw an elemental from your deck. God, that's a tutor. Oh, God, that's a tutor. Damn. Okay. Sand Binder. Yeah, okay, I can see a deck where this does a lot of work. Rebuke. Uh, I guess the Lotheb was a Paladin? Yeah, r draw Ragnaros is exactly what I'm thinking in this with this. I guess Lotheb was a Paladin the whole time. Lotheb was really powerful because it was on a 5-5 body. This card is not a 5-5 body. Hence, maybe not. I don't think it's as good. Oh, this is Vax looking nice. Rat Trap. Every opponent plays three cards in turn. This is supposed to be like an Echo counter. Summon a 6 6 rat. Yeah, means there's new secrets to play around. There's a couple actually with this trigger. There's a Paladin one with the same trigger of uh, opponent playing three cards. Hey, we saw this Bonfire Elemental. This is the good body I was talking about. Again, good body draws a card. Like... Is this pack good? I don't know. I think this pack might be good. The Glass Knight. Oh my god. 
That's not the Black Knight at all. Divine Shield. Whenever you restore health, gain Divine Shield. Okay. So you're in Paladin, so that's going to be rare. But like 4-3 Divine Shield's pretty decent. And like there's some good Divine Shield synergy stuff already. Yeah, okay, I like this. I'm good with this. It's like, this ain't like a legendary on the level of a bunch of other legendaries, but like, I would not feel awful playing this card on curve. That's always nice. Whenever you restore health, I think that's just whenever you, an ability you play causes health to be restored. However, I don't actually know. I literally have no idea. Hey, I'm looking here. Here we go. Here's another one of those druid cards that cares about hand size. Or like putting cards in hand. Draw a card, gain one armor for each card in your hand. It's like shield block. Your other elementals have plus two attack. Yeah, all right. That's, like, huge. So this is supposed to be kind of like a... I don't know. Eh, I could play this. Oh, God. Speaking of restoring health, this little jack-o'-lantern is here to heal you for a billion. You play this late in the game, and you heal ten, and then make five two ones. Again, that's cool as hell. Yeah, plays nice with true silver is actually the card I'm thinking of. Whenever a friendly minion attacks, gain plus one. Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, what's this need to be on curve? Two attacks? So you play this into a board and then attack with two minions, and then it's a 4-7, which is cost. Because 4-7 is uh, stats plus one. So the way I'm saying on cost, um, let's talk about Cutthroat Buccaneer. It is one stat level below on cost because its combined stat total is twice its cost. On cost, in my mind, is combined stat total is cost doubled plus one. So, for Cutthroat Buccaneer to be like, on cost, uh, just flat, ignoring the ability. This is why I like Spider Tank. Is having its power and toughness equal its cost doubled plus one. So, three, four, Spider Tank is seven, three, six, seven. So, Festering... Hulk here to be on cost uh, matching uh, like a, a a generic minion with no text. Uh, it has to be 5, 10, 11. This is 9. So once its ability gives it, two, gives it 2 points of stats, it is on cost. And then once it's given it any more than that, it's above. That's neat. Ooh, lifesteal taunt. Demon? What the hell? Okay, so this is like a, uh... This is a Mogashan Warden, but, like... A little more interesting. Where does that on-cost stop? 8-drop? Uh... I stop evaluating for that at 7. Uh, Boulder Fist Ogre is the last minion that has... Is the last, uh... A mana cost that has an on cost minion at six. So Boulder Fist Ogre, because it's six, seven, uh, 13, which is six, 12, 13. But, the, but like War Golem is what you get at seven. Once you're paying like seven plus, that evaluation doesn't actually follow anymore. Anyway, Arcane Keysmith. Battle Cry, discover a secret, put it into the battlefield. Um,. I think this is like, this looks like an attempt at like making a little more uh, fair mad scientist, but it's generating cards. Actually, no, I'm not even going to say fair mad scientist. I'm going to say this is like a, this is indicative of the design shift in Hearthstone rather than because you play this and it generates the card for you. I think the card's actually fine. Again, card generation is very strong, and it's mana as well. It's like Hydrologist, except for it's playing it, you know? Man. 
What do we got here? Hey, Life Drinker, how you doing? Cauldron Elemental and Raven Caller. All right. The fact that Ice Block is dead is the only reason that card can exist, by the way. That card could not be printed for standard if Ice Block existed because it would let you play like a billion Ice, ice, mo ice Blocks. I guess you can do that in... Uh... Oh, hey, it's our Bog Creeper for the set. Uh, five nine. It's Bog Creeper. What do you want from it? That's Bog Creeper. Um, I'm sure you can do that in Wild as well, but I've I'm I basically can't speak to Wild, so on how many ice blocks you want to play there. My Prowler. Dark Possession. Deal two damage to a friendly character. Discover a demon. That's cool design. Discover a demon is generally a pretty strong effect. There's some pretty high value demons. So there wants to be some sort of... It can't just be a one mana card. And like the self damage. That's neat. I like this. I think the card's pretty real. Because you can discover Void Lord, Jaraxxus, Doomguard. Uh, here we saw this. We played against it. It's an echoing... Uh, for one mana more, it's an echoing whirlwind. What other cards got Hall of Famed? Yeah, Molten Giant, Cold Light. Ooh, Druid of the Scythe. Again, these Druids are all generally pretty powerful because of the choice, and they're also pretty decent on cost. Like, 2-4 Taunt is nothing to really go home about, but, like, the fact that it's also a 4 damage kill spell that might live, or... Uh, and is going to be a beast on sides. This is nice. So, And we should be finishing up here. There should be not as many. This should be like speeding along. Because we don't have as many comments to talk about. Rest in peace Dalron mage. You piece of. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry Dalron mage. This card costs two. Was Molten Giant still playable? They eroded Molten Giant back to the 20 instead of 25. That's why they, they put it back in the wild. Can't attack while damaged. Oh, dang, this is cool. Yeah, I like this. This is a better version of the, like, can't attack minions that you want to silence. That's nifty. Yeah, okay, these are good cards. Like, Destroy all enemy secrets, we saw this. This is a card they have to keep printing in some way. Because, uh... Yeah, Enrage can't attack. Oh my god. That is Enrage can't attack. But yeah, they keep having to print this because they need a neutral way to answer secrets. Uh, because they keep rotating it. They don't have one. Uh, like, you know, it was uh, Kazan Mystic and the Nidoras Secrets, and now it's Chief Inspector, so. And this is a good body. One below cost on it for an ability. I'm always actually... Once you get up to five, being on cost isn't as important. Being at like two and three, it definitely is, though. It's very hard to play like a two or three drop that's missing points of power and toughness. What do we got here? Mossy Horror. Destroy all minions with two or less attacks. Oh, it casts Shadow Word Horror. Okay. Yeah, that's neat. Alright, one moment. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. Cheap shot, ooh. That's pretty nice. 
I like removal that's uh, flexible like this. That's good. Not like terribly efficient, but that's like you can go like pew 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 pew. Keep them moving. Draw the lowest cost minion from your deck. How many tutors are there in this set? What the hell? I guess if I wanted to draw like a Doomsayer or... Hmm. I mean, it's also card draw, so... Like, play this and pick up a book. I mean, uh, 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 not book, but like, uh... Other books. Because we don't have book. Hey, Blink Fox, how you doing? Glad to get more of those. Uh, so, we saw the weapon earlier. It was a 2-mana two 2-2 two -two weapon with Death Rattle. Give a Rush minion plus 2 plus 1. Uh, this is the minion you want with it. You play that weapon on 2, attack. And then on 3, you play this, attack with your weapon. And this this becomes a 5-4. A Black Cat return. Whenever a friendly minion is healed, summon a 3-9 Whelp. Damn. That's actually really, really nice. And it's a dragon. Okay. I'll call that nice. Nine toughness is nothing to sneeze at. And the walnut. More life drinkers. Rapid worgen. Rip in peace Dalaran mage. Pixie. And we have reached the point. Oop. Whenever you play a one-cost minion, give it Poisonous. The Toxmonger. That's kind of neat. Uh. Huh. That makes your one-drops really threatening late. Uh, reminds me of, um, Steward in a little bit of a way. Don't think it's nearly as powerful, but like that can lead to some really devastatingly annoying board states where like you play you, you play this and then you play like Alley Cat plus a a bird or something like that. You know, or you just play freaking stone dust boars. I don't know. Dogs. Dark possession. Oh, I didn't mention it the last time we saw this card. It does say character. That's very important. It's like, you know, you're, you're tapping. Uh, Swamp Dragon Egg. Tangle for Mystic. Dark Possession Returns. Lifesteal Rush. Alright. Looks like that is what we have opened. Works with Elven Archer. Nice. Alright, we'll crush our duplicates. So yeah, we got our... What? Ah, yes, the Blue Corn Moon. I remember hearing the wolves cry at the Blue Corn Moon. I'm just going to go through and check these out. That's a big cheese. Exactly. I'm glad the flavor text on this card knows exactly what I'm doing with it. It's always Huffer. And Huffer. And Huffer. And Huffer. Fucking bravo. Y'all are great. You know exactly what I want. Huffer. Oh, 
don't like the ice block. Deep freeze. Nice, nice. I like the music joke. Floating keys. Ah, the buke and the double buke. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. But yeah, I'm actually kind of interested to see. Also, the the look of her is pretty cool. I like I like the 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 like Also, this reminds me I'm looking at this, I'm thinking Hollow Knight Crystal Caves, and that's something I gotta do uh, some streaming of pretty soon, because the last Hollow Knight DLC came out. Maybe you should have, Blizzard. Maybe you should have. Samus with a mace? Yeah, that's basically what this looks like. It's, it's, it's a, this, is a, this is definitely like a, a stylized Varia suit at the end of the day. Like with a visor. Mmm. <sighs> it's jokes. We got jokes for you here. <laughs> okay. Shots. Shots, 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 shots. But yeah, I like the Blink Fox. I One of my decks I have here, plus two gold penalty. Uh, this is a deck that's name is based off of an old mechanic in uh, the Game of Thrones LCG, or CCG, before it was the LCG pro as it is now, where you could play out of faction cards at plus two gold. Anyway, uh, Yar. Yeah, rush is charge, but not to face. Like if I. There we go. Rush can attack minions immediately. Ooh, we got the vape jokes. All right. Thanks, Blizzard. I like this frog a lot. I'm really glad about this frog. Okay, I'm going to take a moment to talk about Shutterwalk. In order to talk about Shutterwalk, I'm going to have to show off two other cards in the game of Hearthstone. Shutterwalk is a legend that says, repeat all other battle cries from cards you played this game. Target's chosen randomly. The order is random. Uh, what else did we learn? It's not in play when the first one triggers. I guess, sort of. Anyway, um, in order to fully talk about this, we need... Um, hell. You can't search the... What is the name of that card? Chain Gang. There we go. So, Sword Knight Chain Gang, the, the card whose name I basically don't remember, it's just how long can this go on, um, has the battle cry, summon a copy of this minion. Now, when, uh, when Shutterwalk copies the battle cries, it copies the copy of this minion as itself, so it makes more copies of Shutterwalk. Uh, the other card that is important to this, I'm actually going to have to go into crafting for this one, uh, is a six drop named Grumble. 
Battle cry, return your other minions to your hand. They cost one. So what happens is you go ahead and you make copies of Shutterwalk, and then Grumble bounces the, all of them to your hand, and they all cost one. There's a couple other obvious like cards that fit into this that aren't terribly worth going into, but that interaction is enough of it. Uh, the the murmuring elemental, the fire flume harbinger, um, are parts of it that make the deck. The fact that there's a brand bronze beard on a battle cry so that you can keep doing things. The life stealer so that you can keep doing things. Anyway, it's a deck. I just wanted to take the time to explain how that deck functioned while I was going through cards. Is this seriously the only warlock card I opened? I guess this is the only warlock card I opened. What the hell? Wasp. Song reference, actually, on that one. <laughs> Alright, then we got our neutrals. Take a look at this egg. It's a neat egg. Seriously, rip Dalron Mage forever. I like this dog. <sighs> You're my favorite customer. Oh, hi, Bark. Okay, I wanted to see what this walnut looked like a little more up close. I don't know why, but the walnut... The walnut seems wrong. It's... Why? What is the walnut doing here? Who put it here? Why is it a walnut? Why do you get echo it? Is it, is it, is it the echoing laughs? As it walks by, what what is it doing there with it, it, its hand? Who made this? Who made this? It's true. <laughs> oh, to, to, to bind your sand. I kind of like the, 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 like, swapping mechanic. Come on, then. Get, uh, get out of here with those, uh, those uh, explosive traps. We're not having any of that today. 
And this is our uh, mech. Every set has to have like one mech. That's sort of the rule. Life Drinker blows that crappy assassin out of the water. Yeah. Uh, Life Drinker is like... Yeah, there's a lot of cards Life Drinker blows out of the water. It's one of the cards that also gets played in the sh uh, Shutterwalk deck as your win con. Because you just copy this battle cry a bunch and your opponent dies. Oh. Hey, buddy. All right. Anyway, <clears throat> I think that's all for today. I wanted to just make a quick trip through all these. I like looking at the flavor text, and apparently from, from the reactions of some of you, you haven't all taken a look at these either. So this is well worth the time. So yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to join the pack now that I have uh, this thing in my collection and see how it actually plays out. I've heard a lot about this, um, about it creating five plus minute turns about it being this like ridiculously just like how long can this go on for like you know forever but i want to see how it actually plays on both sides of the table so hope you all enjoyed this i also plan on trying to get myself back up to you know not having the voice like this and sound like garbage so anyway thank you all for joining Hope you all had fun with this. We'll be doing a lot more of these as uh, time provides. Maybe get in another, well, I don't know, maybe later today, maybe tomorrow. Certainly tomorrow if I've got time. So, but yeah, if you want to find out when that's going on, you can always follow. Check out the stream. I end up doing a arena, uh, things like that. Uh, all sorts of, you know, I end up doing cards. I should probably do some more MTG arena now that I think about it. Uh, if you want to support the channel, you can always subscribe. There's a cool skulls. There's always the Patreon at patreon.com. Anyway, thank you all for joining. Have a good night, everybody.